Hello, friends. Hello. Hey, you guys. Hey, Lisa, Mallory, Cindy, Barbara. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming by today. I can't believe it's Thursday, you guys. Hey, Nicole. Yeah. I've been excited for this, though. I've been excited. I got all my stuff ready. So we are ready to rock and roll. Hey, Kathy and Brandy. Hey, you guys. How's everybody's Thursday going? Did everyone do Thursday three? If uh, you participate in Thursday three, I have not done mine yet. So I need to <laughs> I think when I'm done um, filming today, I might just like snap a picture of myself right here uh, because this is totally my day today. So, oh, thank you. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> thank you. This is a uh, end of day hair. So it works out. I feel like it's falling down. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. So hi, Ariel and Janine and Joanne. Hey everyone. So uh, today we are going to be continuing to work inside of my 2020 Week in the Life album. Um, seeing what you guys, ooh, watch story kit. Amazing. That was such a good one. I loved crushing, crushing the watch kit. Um, so many awesome stories that can, be, that can be told from so many different perspectives and lenses and all that stuff. So cool. So that's awesome that you are working on that. Oh, and you, Kelly, you finished Bridgerton. I just finished episode three. So I am three episodes into the show. I watched two last night. I actually was going to come over here at my craft table and get some stuff done. And then I sat down and turned an episode on while I folded laundry and then just hit play on the next episode and watched that one and neglected what I was going to do last night. But you know, sometimes we just need to relax and enjoy ourselves. So, and, and let the uh, work that is left be tomorrow's work. That's totally okay too. So, hey Millie and Renee and Susan. Hey everyone. So uh, today, today we're going to be working on 2020 Week in the Life. I am going to be putting together my Wednesday and my Thursday. So last week we worked on Monday and Tuesday. Monday took me like three fourths of the time because I had to figure out how I was going to formula, like what formula I wanted to follow for the different pages and the different photos and all of that inside of the album. Now that we have that figured out, this should take us like no time. It should just be quick, quick decisions and getting these pages done. So depending on the time that it takes to go through it all, I do still have my color cast design stuff back here right back here so we can totally project plan some of that if we have time. Otherwise, we're just gonna be working in this album today. So, you know, either way, it should be a good night. So I am going to flip you guys around and we are going to just jump into this and get started. So uh, pardon me for two seconds while I get you guys adjusted here. Whoop. Sorry, all the shapes. Okay. There you guys. Sorry about that. I guess I um, activated Surrey. Okay, we good now? I think we're good. I, I don't know how I activated Surrey. That was weird on my phone. Whoop. <laughs> okay, well, we're good now. I should have known because I couldn't see myself doing anything on the screen here either. So whoops. Okay. All right. So we're good. Now, 
Um, what I was saying is that it's cold and snowy here. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's it. Okay, so we are going to jump into this. So I have done uh, Monday, Tuesday. I'm actually going to flip back to Monday just so I can remind myself what we did on these pages. Um, right, so we've got the fabric sticker here on the double large page. We've got a sticker with the asterisk some chipboard, some extra things. So Monday in my album was all about Izzy. So this was all of Izzy. I did add in one thing to all of the pages uh, after I put together all the rest of the pages and the journaling so that I'm just ready to go for the next couple lives. And I decided to pull an extra picture out of my stash from that week for each person. And then on the back of that, I have some of those details. So this is one of the things, I'm gonna pull these out. This is one of the things I really love to document during Week in the Life. Our spaces in our home that change over time. So um, in this photo, I have a picture of my daughter's bedroom from that month, a picture of her closet, and then a picture of her like nightstand table. Um, I did this because those change, right? Like as she gets older, her bedroom's gonna change. In fact, it's already different because she no longer has bunk beds. One of the one of these full-size beds or their twins went to Jonah and she has the other one. So that's already different and the whole configuration is different. Um, and then her clothes are gonna change as she gets bigger. And so it's just one of the things I really like to put inside of these albums. So in terms of the other picture here, uh, what I was thinking about doing is I have these puffy stickers from the Kylie in Kentucky kit, and I thought this could be a good opportunity to use some of these on here. So I might just call, like, like this one's really cute that says this is my everyday, because, you know, kind of, yeah. And then to just put that here on the photo and stick it back in the slot. This one I'm not going to do anything to. I'm just going to leave it as is. This was a layer template, a three by eight layer template that came from the In a Creative Bubble shop um, where she, where Gerilyn sells a lot of digitals. So it just worked out nicely that there were three areas for photos on there and a little bit of journaling. So I talked about like the theme of her bedroom and things that she was really loving about her room. Like she's really into unicorns right now. So I talked about her room being pink and forest and unicorns and all that kind of stuff because eventually, eventually that will change. Um, so then we've got, and I figured that was a good break also in the middle of all the journaling because there's a lot of words here. So that also gives your eye a little bit of a break in between it all. Okay, so that is Izzy. Tuesday was all about Jonah. So all the photos kind of relate to him and his day. I'm gonna to get to his photo. So here's his that I added in here. And then I've got a picture of his bedroom and his like nightstand table and his closet, which also is different because he no longer has a crib. And um, you know, he's already like getting into bigger sized clothes and all of that. Actually, I really like that. So this one says chaos called life. That's really cute. And I'm gonna stick it up here because it fits kind of nicely around his face. Um, so we'll put that in there and then we'll add this back into the page protector. So, yes, yeah, so um, Nolana, having, this is definitely a format I think I'm gonna follow again this year, is just focusing on one person every day, um, getting, it's almost like having a day in the life for that person, but doing it over the course of a week. We have four people in our home. So I did Monday through Thursday was one person each of those days. And then uh, back in May, we had one cat. So Friday was all about our cat. And then Saturday and Sunday were just general family days. So kind of documenting what we did as a family, which also made sense since um, it's the weekend and weekends are more family oriented here in our home. Okay, so we're going to get started on Wednesday. I think what I'm going to do is pull all of this out and put my binder to the side so we can work on this. Crunch on top of those. Um, so yeah, so it worked. This year I might have to do like, you know, one person per day. And then maybe this year I might do um, 
if I do another day with the cats, I might. Now we have two, so that kind of makes things different too. All right, so Wednesday was all about me. So what I've got here, my first title page was uh, during a um, socialized or a social distanced style backyard hangout. My, my family came over. It was the first time that they had come over, I believe, since the beginning of the pandemic, since like March, at least for us, um, when everything closed down. So they came over to our house and we sat in the backyard. Um, our neighbor who are neighbors who have been our pod throughout this COVID season, um, the husband in the family makes his own wine. Uh, so he's a home brewer for wine. So we brew our own beer and he brews his own wine. So we, whenever we do like backyard things, especially in the summertime, we would bring out some of ours and he would bring out some of his. So this was a bottle that he had put together and brought out to share with everybody. So we had it like in the middle of the yard and then everybody was stationed six feet away from it. So then like you could go up and <laughs> pour yourself a glass. It was, it was funny. Um, you know, just funny how things work out like that, you know, just the, the world we live in right now is kind of wild. Um, so, oh, who retired? Amanda retired. Congratulations. Yes, retiring is a huge accomplishment. I just saw that. Who else here? Hey, Karen. Okay. So, we've got the wine bottle is my feature image here <laughs> with, with the Wednesday there. And then um, I'm going to grab those, those uh, fabric stickers here and see what kind of goes well with this. So maybe we'll do like, I kind of like that, the geotag. Because I could do, a coffee cup doesn't really, doesn't really work. No. And love this. I could do love this. But I think I'm going to go with the geotag. Um, just to, just to make a decision and stick with it. So... The one thing with this album that I didn't do, like my photos in terms of the layout of the week, they are not chronological. So it's not like you would start here and this would be the morning and then you would go to the end of the day. Um, some of them are like, well, not really. It's not really that chronological, except for I have a page of two by twos and that houses, I'm actually gonna open this other one so I can remember what I'm doing here. Um, the two by twos is, is chronological. So I did 12 two by two photos. I set myself timers so that every hour I would remember to go take a picture. And then, um, I like that actually a lot. And then I took those. So I took 12 of them and those became my chronological photos. This is really nice. This is finding beauty in the everyday moments. So um, every once in a while when we are in the kitchen, especially at like lunchtime or when we're making dinner, and this was probably actually when we were making dinner, um, we do dance parties. My kids have their favorite, their favorite music. So like Izzy always goes for Queen is her favorite. Um, so anything by Queen. And then Jonah really likes the song, like his absolute favorite song is the um it's the imagine dragons song called thunder is his favorite he always asks for it like play thunder play thunder so you know they got good taste queen and imagine dragons yes okay so we're gonna add a little asterisk here and then well okay that was fun okay so we're at our asterisk up at the picture and then that is that. So this was a picture, I just set my camera down and put it on a timer and then uh, randomly had it take pictures as the kids and I were dancing in the kitchen. And this is my favorite shot where it's um, like, she's got her foot behind her, it's super cute. So yes, yes, so we're big. We're big with uh, Queen, We uh, my favorite kind of music is alternative rock. Um, and usually the more indie, the more I like it. 
So um, that, or I've got like my absolute favorite band of all time is actually a bluegrass band, um, but they sound very indie alternative rock. Uh, they're called, their name is Nickel Creek. They are my favorite. Um, I've actually, I've had the absolute privilege to be able to see them in concert twice. Um, once when I was in college and once when I was pregnant with Isabella. So they're, they're my favorite. Um, they actually don't, they are, uh, the people in that band, two of them are brother, like a brother, sister, and then the best friend growing up. And so they all kind of like branched out and did their own thing. And then they came back together and did like a reunion album show and stuff. And then, you know, I just keep waiting for them to do another one because I so want to see them again, like so badly. <laughs> so hopefully one day, but they are my favorite. Okay. There's like a little piece of green on there. Yes. Nickel, like N-I-C-K-E-L Creek, Nickel Creek. They are so good. Oh my gosh. So good. Okay. What are we doing here? So this one, I need some kind of heart sticker and some kind of phrase sticker. So this is a picture. Um, I figure what I can do is kind of tell you how I took some of these pictures so that that might give you some ideas for angles and stuff. This one was up in my bedroom and um, I have this like tiered, <laughs> this tiered thing that has like trinkets on it. So I took my phone and I set it on the ledge so it was like looking over me and stuck something on it to like weigh it down so it wouldn't fall and then again just set a timer and then opened up my drawers and started like looking for for clothes to wear that day and it took this picture and I thought that was really cool and you know also something I totally do every day just an ordinary day I'm like yes totally um I'm thinking let's just do it on the big red one sure so this was just an ordinary day of picking out my outfit for the day. Putting clothes away. Actually, I was probably putting laundry away in the morning. Okay, because I know I did laundry. So there's that for Wednesday. Yes, dancing in the kitchen is the best. It's the best. My kids love, love dance parties. In fact, my daughter, when she was turning six, which poor thing. So she turned six this January. And for the last year, she has been talking to me about, um, about having a dance party for her birthday, where she wanted to like make a bunch of decorations and hang them around the house and have all have her friends all come over. And I was like, well, you know, it is kind of like, uh, you know, things aren't back to normal yet. But eventually, yes, like we will have people come over. Um, we just can't right now but they love dance parties. Love them. Okay, so now I've got uh, doing some dishes. I also pulled this card. Uh, this one says, be your own kind of wonderful, dance to the beat of your own drum, laugh out loud, love hard, live freely. I think, mm, don't quote me on this, but I believe this came from a <laughs> week in, not week in life, a stories by the month kit, a digital one that will possibly come out this year and if it's not from that then it's from one of the story kits oh I should have paid attention to where that came from I don't remember but it's an Allie Edwards card that I had digitally so I printed it off um mm -mm -mm, pieces of life I do not super love this so embracing these messy moments I think I have a better one for that the story does not have my heart doing dishes yeah no but maybe, <laughs> maybe this like week in the life week in the life maybe, or finding beauty, maybe pieces of life. No, I like the circle one better. This super love. Yeah, no. <laughs> Bracing these messy moments. I'm just going to go for that because it is cleaning, you know? Uh, so this one, one, okay. If you guys have an iPhone or, I mean, if you have a phone that's got one of those like pop things on it so you can hold it, uh, one of my favorite tools to use for taking pictures of myself is a can of tuna fish. It is like the perfect height for, at least for my phone, <laughs> the perfect height to be able to brace up my phone using that little pop thing so I can get a fairly flat image. So I will take 
literally a can of tuna fish and just bring it around with me and my phone and use that to prop it. You can also just use like a, like if I had my cup here, I could use my cup and balance my phone against my cup. It just might be a little bit more angled. With the tuna fish can, you know, it, uh, <laughs> it stands it up pretty straight. So it works out pretty nicely for me. Just uh, one of my photography hacks. Okay, so we've got this one. We will, you know what, I should, oh, we're gonna put this over here. Put it in the bunch. So yes, I, um, I was not going to do day in the life, but I ended up getting this stuff anyway. So, you know, I actually am really enjoying doing this week in the life album. And as soon as I finish this, so my plan is to figure out what the next page here is. My plan is to, um, finish up this week in the life album. So this is going to be video number two. So I think it's going to take me four lives to get this done. That's my plan. And then the one after that, so it'll be almost towards the end of, um, towards the end of February, I'm going to do my day in the life album, my second one, right? The second day for day in the life. Uh, cause I have everything ready to go for it. I just need to put it together. So that will be my plan. And then I'll have all of my 2020 albums done and I can just start on the 2021 ones. Um, okay. So this one was a layer template from Allie Edwards. It just says loving this. And I took these pictures while we went out on a walk, um, around our town. We actually have a walk that we go on that's through our downtown. And then we have another walk that we go on that goes like on a path through the woods. So we actually took the long path this day. And one of the places there is like a boardwalk. So again, I took my can of tuna fish with me on the walk and I, I set up my phone, put it on a timer and then just had us walk down the path. And then it took a picture as I was going. Another thing, another big tip that I have is a tool like this. Um, I don't even know what this is called cam cam kicks cam kicks so this is a button that bluetooth connects to your phone so then you can carry this with you and hit the camera button and it will take pictures so that's a great way i did not get this until until um after this i believe but this is a great way to take photographs when you like on your phone when you're not there to actually push the button you can use something like this to push the button um, and it's not very expensive, if I remember right. This <laughs> tuna fish can. I know, it's so ridiculous. Um, yeah, the tuna fish can. <laughs> Cups work too. Cups work too. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the journaling, the first page of journaling. So for these ones, what I did, it was a layer template. I clipped in a photo every day that I took. A lot of times there were pictures of like flowers from our walks outside because we were going on daily walks back in May. Um, it's much harder to go on daily walks when it's like 10 degrees outside. We still do a, an occasional walk, <laughs> but they're definitely not happening every day. Like they were in the spring and summer. And fall. Um, but anyway, so I clipped the photos into these spots and then I merged just this top portion and then um, copied it and put it on a different canvas. That way I could print it on matte photo paper instead of on the cardstock because the colors are much more vibrant on the um, matte photo paper. So then what I did is I took the template. So this piece right here in the original was red. I took it and I turned it white. So I used my paint bucket to change it to white. And then I put a stroke around it that was a very light gray. And that is going to allow me to perfectly position this where it's supposed to go. It just takes a little bit of the guesswork out. So I don't, um, so I don't put it on there crooked because I totally would if I was just going to wing it. I already know it. An Apple Watch. I just got an Apple Watch. Well, I didn't. So my Apple Watch was my husband's and then he switched to Samsung Galaxy phone. Silly guy. 
and uh, so I got his watch. So it's been really fun to learn how to like use the Apple Watch. I don't know how I lived without it. Don't tell him I said that though. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> yeah, he would not let me live that down. Okay, so we'll put the journaling in there and that is going to be done. Um, so what I did in terms of journaling too, so on this one, on this card for every day, because there's one for every day, I talk about like, here is what I am focusing on today. Today, so I like, today is the day I chose to focus on myself. And then um, every day I added observations about that person. So I'm like, here's some general observations about my day. And then on this one, the layer template, I talked about going for walks and why I love going for walks and, you know, what we did on this one in particular and, um, you know, why it's awesome to be outside. Then for my normal journaling, which is the long version, this I did more of like a, a long form, you know, talking about our day, talking about me at that point in time. Uh, talking about our family dynamics at that point in time, you know, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot to it. This is more like chronological uh, writing, but also um, almost like if you were to take my calendar or my, my schedule for the day and then, um, you know, go from there. Okay, so here's that middle portion again. So this is a picture of me from the week and then I've got the details for my room. So I've got a picture of my bedroom, a picture of my nightstand, which is showing like the book I was reading and uh, all that fun stuff. And then my closet where you can see like some of the clothes that I have in there, which should be fun because those also change over time, right? So then let's put one of these fun asterisks up here because that's, I like that best day of the week that should go on like Saturday or Friday Fridays are great too oh, I could do that one nope that one's huge I think we're gonna go with this red one especially because you're going next to actually I should figure that out you are going next to this pink stuff so nope we're going with the pink one not the red one pink and then we'll stick this in the pocket and that will be good the nice thing is once you have your formula figured out, if, if this is the way you choose to document, this is the way I choose to document because it makes a project like this much more attainable, achievable, uh, less overwhelming. So I choose to just do the same thing for every page, but it also makes things come together really quickly once you get the base, the base done. Okay, so now we've got that second page of journaling is gonna go next. And then what comes after that? Then we're gonna have a page of two by twos. So we'll do that here in a second. I'm gonna get all the pictures done up for this page and then we'll do the two by two uh, stuff of life. So let's do these pictures first. So this is where things are chronological because I wanted to have that as an option for me. Like I wanted to be able to see hour by hour what our, what my day looked like, how it progressed um, and all of that. So this is where that information is going to be found. So I'm just going to cut these into two by twos and we're gonna stick them in the pocket. So I chose not to embellish any of these just because the photos are already small enough. Um, Right, okay, I'm like, that doesn't go there. Yeah, it does, <laughs> it does. I'm forgetting what happened here. Um, so I've got some very simple things, right? Like I've got where I woke up and started a load of laundry. And then I took a picture, I stuck my phone in the back of my freezer and <laughs> took a picture of me getting dinner out of the freezer to put into the crock pot. Uh, I have a picture of me sweeping and then Jonah decided he was going to come help me. So it's like a super cute picture of him helping me sweep the floor, getting some coffee because that's a part of my day, like multiple times a day. Um, and then during quiet time, I come and work at my craft table. And then we did some Play-Doh stuff with the kids. It's so interesting because things are already so different <laughs> than they were back in May. Uh, back in May, my daughter was not she was in, in preschool, so I was teaching her preschool at home, but it was very, um, it was a lot more relaxed than kindergarten is. 
So now we're doing kindergarten and um, our day just looks very different. It's a lot more structured than it was back then. A lot less free time, <laughs> that's for sure. So then I've got um, this picture is one of my favorites. I'm going to hold it up here so you guys can see because it's hilarious. My kids this day decided it would be really funny to do like faces on um, my, my front glass door as I was out getting some mail. So I like walked up to the door and they're both doing this. So I have some pictures of that because it just made me laugh. I actually like cried with laughter when they were doing that. It was so funny. Then I've got pictures of my family who came for their visit. Picture of Aaron going for a run. And then uh, he was playing, uh, he does Dungeons and Dragons every other week or so. So he was playing that night and I got a picture of him just like cracking himself up. And then really late that night, we decided to go ahead and bottle the beer that we were <laughs> brewing at the time. So we were up until like, gosh, like two in the morning this night. And before this, this was the first day that I did not do my journaling. So during the actual week in the life, I journaled for Monday and Tuesday. And then all the other days I wrote down notes. I did all the things so I could have it when I was ready for it. But then I like dropped the ball and didn't do any of the rest of the journaling. So everything journaling wise from Wednesday through Sunday, I just recently did. I used my notes in order to help me remember things and to do it that way. Um, this year, my goal is to do all of my journaling at night before I go to bed <laughs> because you just can capture a lot more during the actual time instead of trying to like go back and remember it. Um, but I think we the reason I started not journaling is because we were up till two in the morning, <laughs> you know, like, like insane people. And so what was I going to do, you know, stay up until four in the morning journaling? Yeah, probably not. So. This year, things will, will hopefully, <laughs> we'll figure it out to be a little bit smoother. Okay. So, there's my hourly. So, we start here, and then it just goes throughout the day. So, this pairs with this page here, which is the routine page. And this I filled out as a more general, right? So, this was our general routine back in the spring. Um, where it wasn't all necessarily this exact day, but I wanted to kind of capture I mean, what does a regular old week kind of look for like for us right now. So let me make sure I'm doing this right. So for this one, oh my gosh, Mallory, you I think you said that to me on Instagram, and I read that, and like my heart just broke. Like oh my god, that's the saddest thing. I. Yeah, I just can't even imagine. I would be so sad. I'm so sorry that happened. <laughs> she, she accidentally dropped her phone in uh, the toilet and lost all the things. That's so sad. We got that story of today. And let's get a little, little heart on here. All right, you guys, let me see here. I see an Apple Watch in my future. Yes. Yes, I cannot recommend the Apple Watch highly enough. Again, don't tell my husband I said that. <laughs> oh, so funny. So are you going to use it for this coming year then, Mallory? Like, will you just kind of like hold on to that and then use it for your 2021 week in the life? So, especially since it's all set up, that makes things like way easier, you know, if you've already got it. Kind of, you know, to that point, I suppose. Okay, so this, let's see what I got in here. Maybe I can do that one. Yeah, let's do it. It'll save you too on like having to get any product or anything like that, you know? Where you could say, cause I know sometimes that product, that new stuff comes out, it's really hard to say no, so you could be like, okay, you can get like one new thing, <laughs> you know, and then and then you have to use everything else you already have. Um, yeah, okay, the stuff of life. Yeah, we're doing that. So then the next photo I have in here is a is a flat lay, and this is all of the things that I was like, let's call it into 
at this time. Um, so I've got like my roller adhesive and my tiny attacher and this is like a little bit of my scissors just to represent like crafting. I've got a plastic gallon size bag because I was doing like major food prep back then. Uh, Aaron does most of the cooking now because he got tired of my like food prep meals so, which I was like that's fine if you want like if you want to make them you know we can definitely eat whatever you want to make so he makes dinner now and um, I've got my coffee mug I've got my Slytherin um, notebook just to represent you know that I'm into being a Slytherin because that's my house and then I've got some uh, some an IPA beer and then some of my makeup that I was wearing at the time I still wear this like it hasn't changed so <laughs> there's that so I've got the daily or the hourly my routine and then the flat lay so that's that um yes <laughs> all right yes Teach me not to send Right? Yes. So, you know what I do with my photos? I am terrible. Well, okay, I'm not terrible. I am, I'm not terrible. I'm actually really good is what I'm trying to say. I'm really good and I'm using the wrong, the wrong word here. I um, used to have a phone that only had 32 gigabytes of space on it. And that was like all it had, period. So what ended up happening is I could take photos for like one day and then all my space would be gone. So I learned over the years to just upload my photos every single day. And so that's what I do now. Like I don't, I don't keep photos on my phone for definitely not longer than I want to say like two or three days is probably the max before I upload them. Uh, but generally my phone is pretty empty. Now I have a new phone that has 250 gigabytes, which is like amazing. Um, but I still upload them almost every night. I'm just so in the habit of it where I didn't used to be. At one point I had a bunch of pictures on a laptop of mine and my cat knocked a glass of water right on top of that laptop and I lost everything, everything that was on it, um, except for whatever I had uploaded to Shutterfly in the years before that. So I had some salvaged, but a, a lot of the reason, like right now I'm working on my 2017 Project Life album. A lot of the reason I don't have a ton of pictures from that time is because I actually lost them. Uh, they were on my computer and it was devastating. So I am, yeah, definitely a fan of the everyday <laughs> Every day upload or every couple days, you know. They don't they don't have to stay on our phones. Okay, so we're going to punch this out. Amazon photos. Amazon photos, interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah, I definitely I'm I'm in I'm in the market for sure for some kind of photo management, photo storage management, because I know my system right now it's not obsolete but it, there's always that threat of you know having your photos stored in a company you know with a company that could decide not to let you store photos there anymore okay what are we doing next we need a label a label and the next number anyway some I that's definitely something I am going to be looking into into soon I think probably nice and soon all right let's go with this like tealy color this was a picture that I took of uh, Izzy and I playing I actually had a few of them that I really liked um but I ended up going with this one so we were doing like an airplane thing and again I just set my phone up against my handy dandy tuna can and uh, had it snap a picture of us <laughs> while we were playing a couple pictures and they were so fun they were so fun all right there's my number three 
because this is the third day in the week. Which iPhone? I have the iPhone, um, the phone I have right now is the iPhone 12 Pro. So I was originally going to get the 11 Pro. It was right after the 12 had come out. So I was like, oh, I'll get the 11 Pro and get a deal because the phone I had before that was a seven. <laughs> so anything, anything higher than a seven would have felt like a total upgrade. So um, I went to get the 11 and then it turned out that the 12 had a better deal on it. So we were like, okay, well, I guess we'll just go with the new one. <laughs> you know, why not? So I ended up getting the 12, which I really like it. Like it's amazing the difference because even these, these pictures were all taken with my seven and even seeing the quality, like they're, they're a good quality. Don't get me wrong. They're very good quality, but seeing the difference between these and, um, and what I'm taking now is there's such a big difference. Okay, so we've got Life Looks Like This. I just added the Wednesday chipboard piece on there, Wednesday story. I'm not going to embellish anything else. One of the things I did during my day, and I, the reason I chose Wednesday for my day is because I knew I was going to be food prepping, um, which was a big thing. Like I, I would, and sometimes still will, prep anywhere from two weeks to a month of meals at one time, which takes me the majority of a day, but it's one day and then my meals are set up. For this day, it only took me like two hours to get two weeks worth done, um, but it depends on the type of meals you're making and some take longer than others. Some you actually have to cook, others you can just like throw in a bag, it's ready to go. Um, so this was after I finished that and I'm in my garage. We have this giant freezer where I was like, yeah, thumbs up on that. And then I've got a picture of Izzy holding these like Play-Doh flowers that we made. One of the other things that I did for every day is I documented two to three things that somebody in our family said. Most of the time they ended up being Izzy. So every day has this overheard card, which I created myself. I used the Listen Story Kit from Allie Edwards, which I believe you can, you know, that the stamp set, how I created this, the stamp set was, um, is like available all year round. I don't think that those like release and then re-release the stamp sets anyway. So I, I put on here the overheard this conversation and then added these little like megaphones. And then the bottom of this I made to match the bottom of the gratitude card. So all kinds of things. This one, my favorite quote from the day um, <laughs> is that I cut Jonah's hair <laughs> this week. So Jonah has some like his bangs were just out of control. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. We're in the middle of COVID. So we're not going to the bar, you know, we're not going to go to see a hairdresser. So I will do it and uh, I can do this. Um, and it was terrible. It was a terrible job. <laughs> and so before I cut it, Erin was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll have you do mine too. And uh, after I cut it, I was like, so you're next, right? And he's like, you stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, he was not having it. What do I want here today? That's kind of cute. So, Sumo's the right famous last words. <laughs> I know I need to do a meal planning video. I need to like one of these days because I haven't meal planned in a long time because um, Aaron's been cooking, which has been so awesome. But maybe like in the when it starts to get warmer out, I can do one because that's when I we do a lot of like uh, like marinated chicken or different um, different meats that you can grill because grilled food is super quick and easy. You just like get your get the chicken out of the fridge. It's already got the marinade on it. You just let it like defrost and then throw it on the grill and stick it on top of some salad and your meal is good. Good to go. Okay. So there is, there's Wednesday. Oh, you know, what? I got to do the pieces. Let's do the pieces. Then we'll have Wednesday done. So I'm going to set all that to the side. I'm going to set all this to the side. Let me kind of put you back <laughs> where I can find you again. 
Yes. Okay. And then we're going to cut up a bunch of pieces. So one of the things I did throughout the week as well was I made these paper bags. I just used the stamp set. I stamped out like whatever day stories. So here's my, here's my Wednesday one, Wednesday pieces. And, um, which I'm actually going to cut right out of this bag. And then I filled the bag with things from the day that kind of represented the day, represented the person, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to cut this out right now. My plan or what I do with these is I'm cutting them into two by two pieces to add, to add into a two by two page protector, just as like ephemera pieces that I kept throughout the day. And whatever I don't use is just gonna be thrown away because I don't need to keep it. Yes, so Pam, I, <laughs> since I cut Jonah's hair, I've cut their hair a few more times, him and Izzy. And I've definitely gotten better. Like there was a learning curve, that's for sure. Um, and then <laughs> this last time, uh, I did okay, but I don't have like the sharpest of scissors for cutting hair. So I decided what I would do is just order some actual like hair cutting scissors. So I've got those and I actually need to like pull them out for real and cut the kids hair because they still have some long pieces that I need to take care of. But it's so funny the things that we have had to, that we have been forced to figure out <laughs> during this time. Like who ever thought that I would ever, ever have the confidence to try and cut my own child's hair? Like I would never, if you would have told me that, <laughs> if you would have told me that years ago, I'd have been like, that's funny. Cause yeah, no, but yeah, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. This would have been from like meal prepping. I kept some boxes. I kept some like, happy mail stuff that came in <laughs> all the things because why not it makes it fun I also like that it gives a lot of color do I have to color my own notes yes right my mom my mom uh does that where she colors her own her own roots I um I get my hair highlighted normally so <sighs> I did end up going to the hairdresser in maybe July, it, was, it might've been June. Um, it was so nice to like get back to a normal, okay, cut, to get back to like a normal hairstyle. Um, but I haven't been back since and my dark roots are showing and all my grays are showing, oh well. Do you really, Millie? That's awesome. <laughs> That's, yes. Oops. Ah, okay. There's like this thick part in the middle. Cut. Yes. It's really short. Hm. Okay, there we go. So there's my Ziploc <laughs> for all my bags. I also got this like Reese's wrapper. Sure, why not? <laughs> I must have ate some candy that day, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Okay. Reese's aren't my favorite candy, uh, but I do like them. You know what I really like? Here's what I really like when it comes to, to Reese's are the holiday ones, like the Reese's Christmas trees or, um, the Reese's Easter eggs, oh, gosh, those, those are where it's at. Peanut butter cups aren't, aren't, aren't my favorite though. Okay. But who said it has to be your favorite to go in an album? Sure doesn't. Okay, let's. We should pull out your white hairs. No. <laughs> Yeah, I have so many of them all like right up on my like the front of my forehead, which is probably like that must be where they come first because <laughs> they're all there. That's for sure. Okay, so this whoops is a box is a label that I got from some happy mail. Um, I got some freckled fawn stuff. 
So we're just gonna um, cut this up, which is fun. So you can add stuff like this in here. All right, and then I'm thinking, where do you land? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so there's my freckled fawn package that came in the mail. Um, I have a label from my coffee creamer from that day. Because again, you know, why not? All right, I think I'll just do like the coffee part. Like, I'll know what this is. Maybe I'll use that, we'll see. I can't remember if I have enough to last the whole thing or not. It's all a little bit crinkly. That's okay. I wish I would have grabbed something like this from Christmas time with the peppermint mocha creamer. Because again, that is the best kind. They, you have to wait all year for the best kinds to come out of everything. <laughs> Crow in your part. Yes. I wonder if that's because, I mean, I'm not a hairdresser. So I don't know like the science of hair. But I wonder if that's because um, that's what sees the most sun. Maybe. That would make sense to me. Okay. Sorry, this is so crinkly. This should hopefully flatten it out. Yes, there we go. Coffee mate. Cool. Oh, I had another one. Well. <laughs> okay, so this one... I might keep for something else. So for now, for now what I'm gonna do is just trim this so it's more manageable and then we'll come back to that. Uh, something else that I did is I got an Allie Edwards package in the mail and I got this mystery item. So I kept this little brown bag. because so I was like, you know what, with the mystery sticker on it because that's fun. And we're gonna use that as one of the things. So do that. Oh, it's not going to be quite centered. All right, let's see if I can center it better here. Maybe, maybe not. That's okay. I also have the packaging. So this is the tape that comes on um, the tape that comes on the package itself. And I might actually do two of these. This one, I think I'm gonna go like that. Okay. So this, I thought. I could, yeah, that's not gonna work. Well, I can see where the thing is, so we can go. Because this is like obsolete at this point. I wanted it to say it is. Well, I'm gonna think about that. Um, and then, but this right here, this is the tape packaging that comes on the outside of a box. So, and I'm thinking I'm gonna cut two of these because I might need to. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of fun to save it all. This was like on some gift bag that we got. So I thought, yeah, I'll keep it. So <laughs> that's this guy. And then I'm going to cut him like right here. Just like this elephant guy, you know, kind of fun. He's also velvety, which makes things fun too. So we'll cut him like that. I think I just cut him too small. Maybe I can't tell. Yeah, I think I cut him too small. That's all right. We'll still use it. And then we got this like avocado thing, <laughs> an avocado peeler, how to avocado. Um, so sure, I thought that was fun too. Okay, and maybe I'll do, well, let's see how many I got. So I need 12 total. So let's see if I've got all 12. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, perfect, okay. And all the rest of this scrap stuff can go in the garbage. Okay. And then I don't need the beer one, which is good because I want to use that for a different, a different one. 
Yeah, it was an avocado peeler. <laughs> it's like one of those, like, it's like green and has these little slots in it and you just like roll it through your avocado and it cuts it. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let's put these pieces in and then that will complete our Wednesday. So, let's grab back out my folder of pages here. I need the two by twos. The other thing that I discovered because, um, one of the things I do is when I take photos of my spreads, I actually take everything out of the pockets. Like I don't photograph things inside the pockets. I know, <laughs> the poor little elephant. Um, but the, um, the glare on the pockets can really detract from your photos of your spreads. So I take mine completely out of the pockets and then lay them on top, like position them all and take a photo that way. Um, you just get a better picture that way. So because of that, it is easier for me to just tape these pieces to the back side of the photos. It works better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tape them on here. <laughs> Poor elephant. Oh no. And I think I even cut him too small. Oh well. I wonder, I could probably find a piece of him to put at the bottom. Okay, where's the top of this? There we go. All right, we'll do that. So like it works really nicely for things like this, like this plastic, because like, yeah, see it's not even cut at the right size, so I can just like trim it off and then it will fit perfectly in the pocket and I won't have to worry about it, so. Last time I did all the stuff with like the fringe, you know, so, uh, so I learned my lesson the hard way and then, um, yeah, I'll put coffee made up here. Yeah. I learned my lesson the hard way and then decided that this was a better plan of action. Just tape it to the photo. So how many of you guys are going to be participating in Day in the Life? How many of you guys decided to just go for it? And um, did you get any of the products? Because you don't have to. Like, you can totally use what you've got. Um, but if you did get the products, what did you get? There's my coffee mate. Lisa, you did. Do you guys like the idea of um, the digital kit? Yeah, that's a great idea to just go for the digital kit. What do you guys think of the um, four by six size album? Are you guys, you know, jumping on board with that? Not so sure about it. Yes, I did see they aren't six hole. So um, the... 9 by 12s so Allie's 9 by 12s which I assume they use the same mechanism for their 6 by 12s those are are going to be four um there are four hold on, what do I want to say rings four rings that's what I'm looking for the 6 by 8 albums are still going to have the 6 so you're still going to have 6 six rings on the six by eight but the bigger ones have four so I actually I didn't get any of those because they were taking so long to come out the uh, nine by twelve albums because I wanted to do my project life in a nine by twelve this year um so I actually got mine from scrapbook.com instead of Allie. And the difference between the two, there are a few differences. One is that the scrapbook.com albums are pleather instead of linen, um, which I don't really have a preference. I, I kind of like them both. I like the linen and I like the pleather. But the biggest difference is that the scrapbook.com 9 by 12 albums have three rings. And the... Allie Edwards 9 by 12 albums have four rings. <laughs> uh, so when you get the page protectors, depending on which album you get and where you get your page protectors from, you may have to add an additional hole 
or something into the actual page protector to get it into the album, um, which I can show you guys that here in a second because I've actually, I've got mine uh, in the cabinet right next to me. So, yes. Um, I, I, to me also, I know like at first I was debating just holding out and getting alleys because, you know, the four rings might be a little bit more sturdy than the three rings for the nine by 12. Um, but my 12 by 12 albums have all had three rings and I've never noticed them being like not sturdy. I felt like they were fine. Um, so I was totally fine going with just the three rings. Okay, we'll go cream cheese over here. I'm just trying to keep these a little bit balanced so that I've got uh, like different card. All these are like slightly not two by two, which is fine. That helps them to go into the pockets better anyway. Um, but yeah, I want to balance this. So like this one I might put there. That one I'll probably put there. The elephant can go there. Oh, see, he's too short. Let me get my garbage back out. See if I can find some of him. <laughs> Here's a little piece. I wonder if this would work. Fine. Put him back together. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. See what happens. Um, this can go there and then this can go maybe there. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. Oh, does she really? The um, the nine by twelves? I didn't know that. That her nine by twelves used to be six. Okay, here we go. The six by twelve are two. Yep. Yeah, so the six by eight are still six ring but the ones that are taller are four this year. Hmm. The, um, Pam, if you just ordered your page protectors, cause I recently ordered page protectors. Did you get the nine by 12 size and have they come in already? Cause I know mine have four. Um, mine are right here. So like this is an alley one. It's going to have so much glare here. This was a page protector from Alley and it's got four I need like some white paper here so you can see this. It's got four rings in it. So I've got one I've got two up here and two down here. Um for the 9 by 12. Did your did you get other like older ones even? Cuz you might be okay. I just ordered those at the end of December is when I ordered those. Yeah, yeah, double check it because maybe, maybe you'll be okay. <gasps> I hope you're, I hope so. Okay. All right, so we're almost there. Two more here, three more, three more. Okay, so this one, we're gonna see if we can piece this poor little elephant back together. <laughs> if we can if we can salvage him here and give him back his, back his back. Okay, so this is gonna go right there. Good enough, good enough for me anyway. <clears throat> poor guy, didn't mean to cut you short. There we go. Elephant tag. He's good. <laughs> it, it all it all works out in the end. <laughs> Nobody will ever be any the wiser except for all of you. Can I tear some of this off? Oh yeah, I can. Perfect. That cuts down on some bulk. Okay. <laughs> so then we'll do that. We will make sure this is the right side up. Yep. We're gonna tape on my return label for Freckled Fawn. I have sensed 
since stopped getting, um, I used to subscribe to their four by eight paper packs, um, but I don't anymore because I wasn't going through them fast enough and was just accumulating. So I didn't, I don't, you know, I like to use things. I don't like accumulation. <laughs> so I stopped getting those, but they have really nice products, nice paper, especially if you are a traveler's notebook kind of person. It was awesome for that. Okay. So there are my pieces from Wednesday. All set. And we can move on to Thursday. Four holes for the nine by 12. All right, perfect. So then they'll, they, those should work in your albums. So the difference is that the, I'm gonna get it out right now and show you guys um, before I get on, before I move on to Thursday. Let me get out the, um, my album from scrapbook.com. So my scrapbook.com one, I got the, the gray pleather nine by 12. Um, it's got like the rings on it, whatever. So on the inside of these ones, there are only three, three um, rings. So what I did, cause I originally got Allie's page protectors that have four and what, happened is is the first hole works great and the last hole works great but then the other two are right here and there's nothing for them to go into so what I did is I took one of the page protectors from scrapbook.com that I ordered that I ordered and I just used my power punch to put another hole in the middle so I can still use those page protectors in here they're just not as um you know they just have extra holes in them and it is kind of what it is. One thing I will say, having used these, and I don't know like if all the configurations are gonna be the same, we'll find out. One thing that I noticed about Allie's page protectors, and maybe it's just me, maybe it's not, but these ones right here are narrower than three inches. They're like, I feel like I had to trim so much off in order to get it to fit in the pocket. So like my photo is like two, I guess not, maybe it's three inches on here, but it didn't, maybe it's not this one, but one of them in here is significantly narrower where I had to cut a bunch of it off. Um, so that was kind of annoying to me because I didn't, I've never dealt with that before, like having a pocket that wasn't really the size I wanted it to be. And then when I've used my scrapbook.com ones, I've never had to trim them down and they actually have like ample room. So I've noticed that in terms of the pockets, I actually prefer the scrapbook.com ones because the cards fit better and my photos fit better than Allie's. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know because I've never used theirs, you know, I've never used the nine by 12. I never have that problem with the six by eight. The six by eights are great. And like, I've never had to trim something down more than its actual size, but those ones I noticed it. So maybe that's just me. <gasps> the ones in the end. Yeah, there's like, there's one that's like, I have to trim off a bunch of it and I don't like that. So that's ultimately why I decided to go with scrapbook.com for all of it was because I ordered Allie's page protectors and I ordered scrapbook.com's page protectors, got them both in and then tested out all the pockets to see which one I preferred and I preferred scrapbook.com. So that's where I went for my stuff. Plus I was impatient and I didn't wanna wait <laughs> for, I didn't wanna wait to, uh, to get my album and get started. Oh yeah, Becky Higgins. With the, uh, maybe with your, like with your 12 by 12 ones. Cause yeah, I haven't, yeah, I've, even with the 12 by 12 albums, I ended up going with scrapbook.com like last year. I've just, I don't know. I, th I think that their, their sizing is my favorite so far of the ones that I've tried. So I'm just putting everything back in and then I'm going to grab out my Thursday. We'll get to work on that. So we've got. Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. And then we'll pull out Thursday. So I'm done with this. And we'll go with this, so. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side and then 
grab all these pages up to Friday and we'll get to work. See if we can get this one done really quick. Okay. So Friday, not Friday, Thursday, Thursday was all about Aaron. Um, I followed him around all day and one of the things I had him do is there was the page for every day where I like hand filled it in throughout the day. So on Friday, I made him fill in his own. Oh, good night, Caleb. Thanks for coming and hanging out like usual. It's, you know, I love having you guys here. You guys make Thursday is my favorite day because of all of you. It's my favorite day of the week. Um, anyway, so yeah, I followed Aaron around all day and took pictures of him doing all the things. So I made him fill out his own journaling. And one of the things that he said, because his journaling prompt was today I. So today I did blah, blah, blah. You know, today I, whatever. So one of his things that he wrote was like, today I let Crystal follow me around and take pictures of me. Which is so funny. Yeah. What, date night? Millie, we, we have been sucking at date night lately like we need to like refocus ourselves a little bit because we have not been doing a very good job of like upholding our date night stuff um I think we just get to the end of the day and, it, and we're just so tired which is a terrible excuse you know um I think I'm gonna go with love this yeah it's a terrible excuse but we gotta Aaron and I gotta work on that I told him, so back in the day, Aaron used to do a game night on Monday nights and a game night on Wednesday nights and a game night on um, Friday nights. And then like Saturdays, we're usually hanging out with the neighbors. I've got to actually get stuff done, you know, like sort of a thing. Um, so now they don't do Mondays anymore. And I was like, that's perfect. Let's do Monday night because, you know, you're not busy. I'm not busy. And that would work out much better for us, I think. So that is kind of what we're shooting for. Did I miss a thing? No. Nope, I just cut it. Okay, yep, that's it. So I'm going to grab some braises here. They're in here somewhere. Uh, write the story of this day. No, none of you. I have this one. This is the other one. I don't know where the other one of these went. It's somewhere in there, I think. But I've already done the today. I've already done this. I kind of like, um, the, like loving these little moments. Put that up here. Wait, question. Our scrapbook.com's 12 by 12. D rings versus circles. Um, I will tell you. Let me grab that back out. I'll look at it. I think they're D rings. So I've never noticed them not being. Yep, they are D. D ring for the uh, the nine by twelve and probably the twelve by twelve. Like all their brand, I'm sure is. Uh, if that one is, they probably all are. Okay, so let's do. <laughs> Let's do the blue, I'm thinking. No, because that's going to blend into the black. So let's do this peachy color that I just ripped. Okay, we'll go with this one instead. <laughs> so we'll do peach. Yep, I like that. Just trying to keep things simple, lightly embellished, and mostly let these pictures just speak for themselves. What I'll do is open that up and then I can this over there just throw it in the album okay next we've got our day of the week so this is where I talk about like Thursday's all about Aaron <laughs> here's some things about his day that I noticed okay and then we'll get a little guy over here I think I'll do yellow that works and then this one is some kind of combination of these guys, which I kind of like continuing the yellow on. So we'll go yellow and then maybe do uh, 
daily routine. Sure. So we'll layer these guys up and then put them down at the bottom here for daily routine. Okay. This one, I pulled a card from the Together Story Kit, and that's where that came from. So it just says Better Together. And then this guy. Uh, we actually watched the finale of Survivor Season 40 on this day. We love Survivor. Like, love that show so much. Um, it's really sad that it's not on right now because they can't. I mean, with COVID, you can't. Um, so this is getting super love this because this I super love. Season 40. Yeah. Yeah. They did like a, um, they brought a bunch, a bunch of people back. Yeah. 40, four zero. <laughs> yes. Yes. Season 40. I have not watched all 40 seasons. So like, I will put that out there. You know what? I can double check that I'm right about this because I, now that you say that, I'm like, oh gosh, is it, was it season 40? Hold on. Let me tell you. It was season 40. Yes. Yes. Four zero. It's been on for so long, but it is such a good show. It's so good. I mean, like to see people overcome so much, um, you know, and like fight from the bottom to get up to, to get to the top. It's just like, I just love it. Such a good show. Um, okay. So next is this page. <laughs> um, okay. So this one, I used another layer template. I'll get these out because it's really hard to see. Well, I don't know if it's hard to see with the glare, but this one is another layer template, um, where you could put six photos. I put them all in black and white because one, they were a little grainy. And also, it was just like a lot of different colors. So in, instead of having like a lot happening, I changed them to black and white. But then I changed my text to green and red just to give this a little bit of interest. Survivor withdrawal. Me too. Me too. I miss it. It's so good. It's one of the only shows like real time shows that Aaron and I watch. Everything else is basically... Um, you know, Netflix or Amazon Prime or spaces like, you know, spaces like that. So Survivor was one of the only shows that we actually just watched on TV. And we have, um, sorry, I'm trying to like, oh, there we go. We do not have cable. So instead of cable, we have YouTube TV, um, which works the same as cable. It might not have like all, all the channels, uh, like we, you know, we don't have like HBO or anything like that. Um, but it has most of the channels that we care about. So like all of the primetime television channels and um, like news channels. It has Disney, it has Nickelodeon, like all those, all those channels. So it works out really nicely and it's way, way cheaper than cable. And also you can share it. So it's kind of like Netflix where you can have multiple, multiple families on one account. So we have it with my parents. Um, I think it might just be my parents. I can't remember if it's my parents and one of our siblings. I don't remember, but we split it between us. And so it like significantly saves us on our cable expenses, which is nice. So we can watch shows like Survivor, which is the original reason we got YouTube TV. Okay, so this is another picture I took out on one of our walks. It was just of these like really super vibrant uh, tulips, like just really beautiful tulips. So that's what got put in the Today Story. I tried to find photos that I could do usually outside where it wasn't going to be too disruptive to the eye, but also where it was colorful enough for the title to stand out. So there's that. All right, so we'll put the journaling in the book and then we're gonna move on to this one. What, that's so cool, Amanda. Celebrate cultural pep, that's so cool. I love those kinds of shows. Do you guys also, did anybody watch, um, or did, does anybody watch uh, Amazing Race? Because that's also a favorite show. I love Amazing Race too just for like being able to see 
so many of the different cultural things. It's such a good show. Uh, fun fact, actually, my mom always wanted to go on Amazing Race. It was like one of her, one of her goals in life. This is Thursday, not Friday. Was to go on Amazing Race, and um, she never did. She wanted to go with her younger brother, and he never wanted to go. So that it kind of like died in the water there. Uh, my mom. So I have an uncle that is just a couple years older than me. They, he and my mom are 18 years apart. Uh, so they thought like that together. So she's like suburban housewife and he, uh, moved out West and like, like makes, makes his living like scavenging around different places and finding like cave splunking. And he's like a mountain man type, type thing. Um, so she always thought it would be a fun, that they would be a good story for Amazing Race because a lot of times like you know the people who go on there have backgrounds and stories and stuff that I think you know helps them to get picked to be part of that. Um, you know what this I'm going to just wait we're going to do all this at the same time so I don't put things in and take them out. Okay so yes Amazing Race so good such a good show. Okay, so then we've got Erin's routine day. So we're going to add our Thursday. And this one doesn't have as much room on it. So I'm just going to put the Thursday at the bottom like that. I might get like a tiny phrase, like maybe. Hmm, it's not that tiny. What if I did like amazing and put it through the Y? Because we know that says Thursday. That's good enough. And then, so I want this to have some kind of cohesiveness. Where's my tweezers? So then we can maybe add this here and just stick it up here. So it's really a lot more clustered than the other ones. But that's okay. And then this guy, I am thinking that I will alternate it because two ago I did a cork star. So let's do another cork star. Oh. I totally forgot about these. These go on there too. Shoot. Okay, Saturday. We need Thursday. And we need Wednesday. I don't remember where those go, so I'm going to have to find out. <laughs> I think they went on the 4x6 photo. Okay, so this one, I'm thinking we'll put the star at the bottom. So this is everything that Erin was into. So we've got, um, maybe this is my normal. We've got... I think I'll do this. Uh, his hat, because he was growing his hair out. I mean, his hair is long, uh, but he was wearing hats a lot. He was going for runs, so I've got some running shoes on here. I've got his Spider-Man mug, because we're Spider-Man family. And um, his headphones. I have, I didn't want to put like a whole like picture of a bottle of whiskey, because I thought that probably would be a little, a little much. So I have this like flask in there. And then I have his D&D &D player book. And then uh, he and my brother-in-law, well, really my two brother-in-laws, basically, uh, play Gloomhaven. It's one of their most favorite games. They're still playing. Yes, it is a player's handbook. Yes. they. Uh, so they're still playing Gloomhaven even now. It's like, it's hours and hours and hours of a game. But it's basically an a RPG-ish type game that they play together. So he's got his Gloomhaven stuff and then his D&D &D handbook. Um, so I feel like this is like a true depiction, his and probably mine, of like just how nerdy we are. Which is good. It's good to be nerdy. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's going to go here. And then I've got his, where'd that go? So here's the, um, the page that I had him fill out. I'm going to put these here so I remember them. I had him fill out this page, which is all of his today I prompts. And then we are going to add his photo on the back. So this is him like doing work up on our bed. Um, back, back in May, he was working from home. He's still working from home, but we have a little bit better of a system now. And he would start the day by using my computer for work. And then at quiet time, I would come down and be like, all right, my turn. Like, get off my computer, it's my turn. So then he would grab his laptop and sit on this armchair behind us, or behind me, 
and then when the kids woke up and they were super loud, he would go up in our room and work on the bed. So I made sure to like follow him around and get him in all the places that he worked throughout the day, which is fun. Now we set him up with his own desk and he has his own like monitor that he can use. So our system's a little bit better now, but it's fun to look back on this and be like, look how far we've come. <laughs> now you have a, your own office space in the basement <laughs> with me. We work together now. We can like fist pump behind our, you know, behind our, if we turn around, <laughs> which is funny. And every once in a while we do and something awesome happens. All right. So there is his photo. And how did I put that up? Oh, right, 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 right. We have number four and a label. The flat lays are probably my favorite of the things because it's like, it's just a fun depiction of what, what are the things that we were really into, which really honestly don't change. They, they kind of stay the same, but you know, they might. So like one of the things I could have put in that flat lay were like the slippers I was wearing at the time, which now are like trashed. Like they're, they're gone. Uh, Cause I wear them until they fall apart and fall apart. It did. Um, so I could have put those in there, but I didn't. And then, you know, things do change. It'll be a different kind of beer next year or something like that. <laughs> okay. So there's that one. And then we've got the, the, these ones right here, which these are quick because it's just the day of the week chipboard. So this one is going to say Thursday story on it. Yes. Nerdy is the best. <laughs> it just means that you're into some really fun things, right? That's what it means. And that you're really good at, I think, at uh, occupying yourself. <laughs> to me, at least that's what I say. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to see if I've got any kind of chipboard. What is this? Just life. That won't poke out enough. I almost need like, um, don't need any of that. I did pull out, this is the ups and downs collection chipboard that I thought might go okay. Like what else do I have on here? That's not really, maybe I need one of these. No, cause this is also going to night owl afternoon, make it count. What if I did that? Make it count. I wish, hmm. <laughs> Maybe I just need another one of these. What if I said like, everyday life? How would you show up? Probably not good also. I mean, that's better than the black, I think. All right, let's see. What else do we got? So I only have a couple more days for these. So we could say not a hard day. Today looks like this. It's kind of too big. I don't like it. Peak in the life. No. Nope. Pieces of life. I mean, that's not terrible. I might grab my chipboard actually. Let me let me see if I have anything in my stash. Chipboard. Okay. So this is my stash of chipboard that goes in here. It's where I pull things from when I'm working on my projects. I just kind of pull everything out and then go through it. So I have some things that are not in the, like that part anymore. What do I got? Clean it up. Does it spark joy? Um, which aren't very many, you know, it's just a few in here, but no, a lot of them are so, themed. What is this? No, definitely not. None of those. No, 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 and no. Okay. So I've got another set of those. So these are the tiny phrase stickers. I could do that because that's like a Elias studio day of the week chipboard that would work. That is just black and white. Okay. So we've got none of those. 
so ready for a break. Maybe. No. 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 Maybe. No. The daily. Maybe. No, no. No, okay. So, I'm looking at these things all the time. So, I, I pretty much know, like, what I do and don't have. So, I could say... Actually, none of those work, so no. Um, what is like the daily? No, don't like it. Okay. I was also thinking that we've got so ready for a break. That doesn't really show up very well either. We've got, again, please, is too pink. Man, this is kind of hard. Super tired of this game. Play, play button. No, I don't really like any of those. Okay. I'm thinking my favorite is probably this one where I can position it. So you can, there's a word, it says living in the moment of today. I think that's probably my favorite. So that's what I'm going to go with. Me, myself, and I. I'm so behind. You know what though? You could consider it that maybe, so the me, myself, and I is a project from um, a project from Heba that Heba started for January, right? So it's got 31 prompts in it. So you could just start it whenever, right? Like it, it doesn't have to be all in one month, technically. You could just start it tomorrow with prompt one, you know, and just do it for the next 31 days. Um, or you could save it and have that be like a March project for you where in March every day you do it because there's 31 days in March or, you know, however, I think the cool thing about a lot of projects is, um, you know, you make them, you make them what they need to be for you. So a prime example, right? Like this, this album right here, Week in the Life, this pro this project was supposed to be done for me what I would have liked it to have been is to have gotten it out and worked on it and been done with it by the end of May. <laughs> like that was my goal originally was let's finish this project by the end of May. Well, you know, what? I need to figure out where I put this. I'll do that later. Um, and I didn't, I didn't. So it is one of those things that kind of like sat on the shelf and I'm like, Oh gosh, like I still haven't done that. You know, I did all the things for it and I still haven't finished it feel so guilty. I still haven't done it. But honestly, I, I really just didn't even have the time to dedicate to it before now. So it's okay. It's totally okay. And I'm getting it done and it feels good, even though, you know, it is like behind, like we're not even in 2020 anymore. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. You can do things at your own pace. That is totally fine. Okay. But I do understand that is something I struggle with too. I think is like the feeling of like, I have to be on top of things. I have to always be on top of things. Otherwise, if I get, you know, quote unquote behind, then I might just give up. Um, which is what I refused to let myself do for this. I refused to let myself just decide, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Um, and I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad, you know, so. Anyway, that's my two cents. Okay, so there are Erin's daily photos. What photo paper to use? Okay, so for the most, um, yeah. For most of my photos that you see today, I use the Canon glossy photo paper that is eight and a half by 11 inches, so Canon. That paper is a little bit on the thinner side, um, which is okay. It, it's not like any worse for the wear, uh, but actually maybe I do need to put these in just so I can figure out which one goes where. Um, but the other one, so like these ones that I just cut out, these are all of my, they are four by six. These are the Canon Photo Glossy Paper 2, which is like the longest name ever. 
Um, but this paper is like a little bit thicker and a little bit nicer, in my opinion. Um, the glossy photo paper, the eight and a half by 11 is a lot cheaper because it is thinner. And a lot of times I get that because I, w I like to work in traveler's notebooks. And so having the thinner paper cuts down on some of that bulk. But, you know, really, really either one's fine. A Canon. I have a Canon photo printer. Um, I have the wide format one, the Pixma Pro 100. And I love it because it's the only photo printer I have, but I can print any size I want on it, or at least any of the sizes that I typically use, I can print on it. Um, so it works for me. Okay, so this is Erin's stuff. <laughs> I am a, com yes, I, <laughs> that is Millie, the word that I use for myself is a completionist. I have to complete things, otherwise I feel funny. <laughs> I just can't, I have to complete things. It's funny because my husband is the same way, which we didn't really know that until we started playing video games. So in a video game like, let's say Legend of Zelda, for any of you who know who Legend of Zelda is, for that game, we both play it the same way, where it's like, we have to get all of the treasure chests, all of the side quests like all of it we have to do all of it <laughs> otherwise you know we can't stop until it's all done and I don't think I really realized that until then until we were like wait a second like we don't have to get all the things and you know and he's like yeah but you know I can't not I have to get them all I'm like yep me too so we are both self-proclaimed completionists we can't help ourselves. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like you have to get them all. Okay. So what I've got here, I've got this little sticker that came in um, the beer kit that we made. So, or that Aaron made. So um, I got him a beer making kit a while back and uh, it's kind of a funny story. So I got him this beer kit because I thought like, we both really like craft beer and how cool would it be for Aaron to brew his own? Like that would be a super fun hobby for him to pick up. So I got him the thing for Christmas. It went into our storage room and there it sat for two years. Uh, and then he pulled it out during COVID because like that's a great time to have a new hobby. It's during COVID. So he pulled it out, we made the beer and it was not very good but probably because it was expired. I mean, it's been in our basement for two years, so I'm sure we just drank a bunch of, you know, <laughs> drank a bunch of expired beer. But it did, oops, it did totally fuel like, wait, I can totally do this. Like I can brew my own beer. So we do that now, <laughs> we make our own, which is really, it's been a really fun hobby to have. Um, actually my, my brother-in-law, and I say we, but really it's my husband and my brother-in-law who do it together. Um, they get the beer kits and work on them and all that stuff. Um, and they actually just got together this last weekend to bottle their recent one, which they don't get this, this brand anymore. We started with Mr. Beer because it was like, you know, the the hobbyist or whatever version. Um, but now we get ours from Northern Brewer instead. So it's been really fun. We actually, Aaron and I together did a, um, a barley wine, which was awesome. I'm gonna see if I can save those. And yeah, it's just been, it's, it's been really fun to like, go through the whole process, learn how it all happens. And then, um, like get to share the beer that we make with people. It's been really fun. This is totally random. We, we bought this like vegetable basket for our house because our vegetables kept, um, going bad. <laughs> so this is the instruction manual on how to put together the basket for our 
vegetable or for our fruits <laughs> which has worked out great it's still in our kitchen today and it's awesome <laughs> Oh, I love that you guys are doing it. That's so fun. So you've got a, your nephew and your son. It's, it's so fun. It's such a cool thing to do, especially like together with people. You know, it's, it's fun. And there are multiple steps to it, right? So like you have the initial part. Um, let me see if I can get rid of some of these layers though. Anyway, you have the initial part where you have to like cook it on the stove and do the grains and add in the hops and all that kind of stuff. And then you put it into a fermenter and it sits there for a while. Yes. And depending on, there we go. Depending on what type you're, you're brewing, you know, that will decide basically um, how long it has to ferment for. Some of them have to go into a secondary fermenter. So, you know, there's that. Get rid of some of this stuff. And then after that, you have to bottle it. So until you bottle it, it's not even carbonated. It carbonates in the bottle. Um, and it does that usually through sugars, that you have to add sugar in it and yeast and store it at a certain temperature. <coughs> and then it will um, carbonate. So it's, yeah, it's really, it's super interesting. So then uh, I kept some prime, <laughs> some Amazon prime tape. Uh, I need two inches. Let's not accidentally cut you too short. <clears throat> Let's do this free delivery too. That's fun. Cause I think I'm going to need more than what I've got here. Yes. Oh, it's it, it's a great gift. We actually we got a kit for my father-in-law for Christmas this year as a um, like hey come you know when things are safe come over and brew this with your sons, which was super fun. Where do you get these? The ones that we get we get from um, it's called Northern Brewer. Northern Brewer, but there are um, like this one you could totally look this one up. It's just called Mister Beer, where it's more of like an introductory it comes where so the one with northern brewer the difference is that that one um that one you have to do a lot of the like cooking of the stuff yourself so like you actually add in your grains and steep it and you um add in the bag of hops and all that stuff the mr beer is like an extract so you cook the extract and then basically add that into the mixture. So um, it just depends like, at, you know, how much control over all the different ingredients you think they would want, you know? So, but they come with like full instructions and everything. So you're, you're definitely not in the blind, like you're not making it up. It's a recipe that you follow but it's super cool. All right, so we've got that. How many do I have over here? And sometimes breweries, and you know, it probably depends on <laughs> where things are in the world, um, but sometimes breweries also have like uh, classes that you can take. So like, I know that there is a brewery in Michigan. It's on the other side of the state from us. Um, but there's one in Michigan where you can sign up for a class to go and and brew in their place. And then um, they do all the like fermenting it for you. And then you go back and actually like bottle it with them. And then again, they hold it until it's ready. Um, like, did we make one of these? I think we made this one actually. And uh, then you go and you pick it up when it's done. Like, which I think is a really cool, like, entry into it as well. Plus, like, how cool would that be to go and learn from somebody who does that for their job? I don't know if you guys know who uh, Audrey, oh gosh, what's Audrey's last name? Audrey, 
I gotta think about it. She is uh, Law of Craft is her Instagram handle. Oh, I cannot think of her last name right now. But anyway, Audrey, her husband is a brewer for uh, like a microbrewery in, I believe it's in Connecticut, which is so cool. I tell her that all the time. I'm like, that is so cool. <laughs> that, that's what your husband does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I need two more. So let me see. This I'm gonna try to hold for something else later. But this one I can use. So this is a label I took off of a bottle of Maker's Mark. Um, because that's what we were kind of sort of drinking at the time. Uh, trying to try out more whiskeys. So we really like bourbon aged beers a lot. Um, and then we were like, well, if we like bourbon aged beers, and I wonder if we would also eventually like, like whiskeys as well. So we have been definitely trying those out a lot more and we do. <laughs> The verdict is we do, we do like them. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can do a few more pieces of this because I need a few more, which is always an option. So if you are saving things to use for something like this, um, you can always use multiple pieces of the same thing. And sometimes that actually helps give it a little bit of consistency on the page as well. Okay, let's see where I need more. Yes, there you go. Yes, there you go. There's Audrey's last name. And Steve the Brewer is her husband. Um, they're awesome. They're a super cool couple. Let's put that down there. We'll put the prime there. We'll put the Play-Doh. There's Thursday pieces. Oh, do I actually have enough? I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, well, let's go for this. <laughs> these are pieces, these are Aaron's pieces. Just fun. Okay, throw all these pieces away. And actually this timing worked out really nice. So once again, I don't have time for color cast designs. That's okay. We will keep on holding it. I'm actually in the middle of project planning for next month's Story Kit Crush. Uh, next month, we are crushing the Cozy Kit, um, which is fun to tell stories for of coziness. And I, I felt like that was a perfect theme for the month of February because, you know, in a lot of the world or many parts of the world, it's still like cold and we're inside and not going anywhere. Um, so like cozy stories. So I... I filmed my like intro for my video and then ran out of time. So I have everything sectioned off where I want it to go or, you know, what stories I want to tell, but I need to actually, I need to actually sketch them out. So when you guys see that video, if you watch it, you'll know that uh, I did that earlier today. And uh, after I'm done with this, I might just go ahead and sketch those out, get it done. And then tomorrow, I'm going to work on finding photos and do my journaling for the stories. That's my plan. And try to get them tell. I like to try and get all of them done, like, in a weekend. <laughs> so, and then I just schedule them for the future. It allows me to work on other projects and to not feel... Uh, not that it's ever stressful to get anything done. That's That's not it. It just, you know my completionist tendencies like me to get things done early so that I have more time to spare. <laughs> Whistle pig. Whistle pig. Hmm. Let me see if I can get more of this off. I love this. I'm gonna have to go back and read all your comments to find out all these, all these ones you guys are suggesting. Oh, the advent calendar. Yes. So we finished them all. Uh, he did share with me. So I got to try them all too. And um, 
there were some really good ones. Our favorite one happened to be the very first one he tried. Yeah, this is like this Play-Doh box, you guys. Play-Doh, come on. Um, the very first one we tried was our favorite. It was an Imperial Stout that was brewed with coffee and it had like vanilla in it and some other flavor stuff in it. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was called Beer Geek. Uh, I think it was called Beer Geek Brunch. Beer Geek Brunch. Yeah, if you get the chance, if you ever see it, it was so good. I can totally get more of this off. This is a good thing. How annoying. <laughs> no, don't rip the Play-Doh part. I just want to take down your bulk. That's it. I just want these gone. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Um, yeah, it was so good. Valentine's Day cards. I, um, I need to make some Valentine's Day cards with Izzy. Maybe I'll do it with school, like next week. Because that would be a really fun thing for the kids to do. Let's make some cards. Such a good idea. Your granddaughter will love that too. Kids love doing crafts with adults. They just love it. Like all kids, I think. Okay, we got it. So let's put on their Play-Doh. Play-Doh, there you go. We do a lot of Play-Doh over here. A lot of Play-Doh, a lot of painting. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? Whiskey tasting subscription boxes in the US. <gasps> that is so cool. We actually, if you're in the US and you or somebody you know is into craft beer, they actually have advents of craft beers. Like we could have just ordered one. We just ran out, we procrastinated and ran out of time. So we made our own this year, but next year we're going to order one. Um, they have ones that are like beers from around the country. And then they also have, I think some that are like beers from around the world. So either way, did I just put that on upside down? Sure did. I'm going to fix that. Um, Oh yeah. Yes. No problem. No problem at all. Yeah. The, um, those post things that I fixed my album with last time. Yes. Those things are the best <laughs> because I have had the same thing where I've had like multiple albums come in broken and I had to fix them. So, and you get like, you get so many in that pack that your albums are set for a while. <laughs> so you are totally welcome. The Crafty Grandma. I love it. I love it. Crafty Grandmas are the best grandmas. My grandma was a Crafty Grandma too. The one uh, that I always like write stories about. <laughs> she was my Crafty Grandma. Um, which was so fun. She was like super into like, like actual crafts, but then also into baking. So she used to do a bunch of baking with us, like cookies and stuff. I have lots of memories of those things, which was always so fun. So, yes, that's so cool. Your kid, your grandkids are going, they will remember that and they will cherish it. I promise you. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Yeah, because once I get this done, this is basically it. I'll just flip through the uh, finished pages here. See if there are any good stories I left out. Actually, I can look at that right now. Oh, one thing we did back in May on Aaron's Day. Well, we did it on a, a lot of the days, but I documented it on Aaron's Day. So we have been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to come up with a way to organize our Legos so that our kids will play with them. Uh, but that also we don't like lose all of them. And, you know, every system works for a little bit and then it fails. Right now, our system has probably been the best. Okay, can we come out of the pocket, please? Um, 
right now our system is there's just a couple of like random there we go random bins like plastic bins that are just like the kid size ones and it all just throws in like we don't actually organize it at all but Aaron and I are both very like organized precise people so it's hard to just like have the chaos so for a long time we tried to figure out like how could we organize these so that it's nice and easy to find and like we could get out the instruction booklets and build the sets so we actually separated everything out by set that it went to which was insane so we to do that what we did is we took all of our legos and we built every single set that we own because we have all the instruction booklets just like thinking about it like we were insane why did we do this and um then once we built them we broke them all down and put them in containers i actually put them in the four by six uh photo containers plastic photo containers so we put them all in those and then put the instruction books with them and called that a day and of course you know that didn't last well first of all they didn't even get them out because I don't know they kids don't really want to build sets they just want to make a mess and build whatever they want to build so it didn't work and um more recently we just threw them all in a bin <laughs> um it was kind of fun you know I, <laughs> we had fun as adults building the lego sets like that was a great time uh but it didn't really serve its purpose so it didn't last long and now it works much better because now they actually just like dump out the whole bin, put together their wild, random, crazy things. And then when they're done, we just throw it all back in the bin and put it on the shelf. Like whatever. I think we were just very concerned about like, well, what if they need, you know, like this one piece and they can't find it and then they get frustrated and then they stop building. But kids don't do that. They don't care about, <laughs> at least my kids, my kids do not care about the sets you know, they're not going to build it. They're just going to build what they want, which is cool. So like Izzy builds like spaceships and, and houses and animals and uh, Pokemon buildings. Cause they're very into Pokemon, um, and all that stuff, which, you know, doesn't that bring us back to <laughs> some of us, our childhood and some of us, our kids' childhood, <laughs> the Pokemon, it's all it has never gone away. The kids love Pokemon. Okay, we are almost there. Oops, you did not stick down. Just do that. <gasps> okay. All right, last one. And then we got them all. And then we are four days down and three to go. Okay. So yeah, I thought about that story because I just looked over and I saw a picture of Aaron putting Legos together. And that's what he's doing. Okay, so we can toss all of this out because I don't need it. It's all the garbage bits. You know what the other thing I needed to figure out was, um, I kept this. This is the top of the Maker's Mark bottle because I was like, ooh, maybe I could cut this into like a two inch piece. But like this thing is so thick, that's not going in a pocket. So I'm not even going to bother. Um, <laughs> but it was you know it was a good try so um we are gonna pull this over here so I've got the photos there's the lego photo um okay so this is gonna go here and then the only other thing I need to figure out is where did I put those plastic pieces because I put them on here let's look on Tuesday we'll find it there Oh, cause I swear I put it on, I did. Oh, I layered it under the chipboard. Dang it. Okay, well, you know what? I'll just staple them on. That's fine. No big deal. So let's go here. They're just hard to see, I think. Okay, so we've got Wednesday. These have that plastic protective stuff on top. So I'm thinking Wednesday, I'm gonna put right here just staple it because I forgot to uh, do it the other way. No big deal. And then Thursday, let's go to the same page, which is this one with Survivor. 
and that. So like not all of this is necessary. Like you don't have to put Thursday or four or you know, whatever on every single day, but I've got all this product. I'm probably going to get all of the new stuff this year. So like, I might as well just use it all up. Um, like, I mean, I don't, I also, I am not a uh, super, like, I don't want to say over embellish because, you know, that's very relative. Um, but I just like things very lightly embellished. Maybe I'll call it that. Okay. So that is that. Okay. So here we go. So here's day three. We can see the flow and then that'll be it. So we've got transparency. We've got large photo one, large photo two, the four by sixes, the layer template, journaling with the photo and details in between. More journaling, there's the two by two pieces, the hourly um, photos, re you know, a regular routine, the flat lay of things we love, my journaling from the day of, one more big picture, and then the th the three by fours. Lots of three by fours. And then we have Thursday, which is the same. So same setup. I love these photos. The giant photos are my favorite because they just, you know, they have such impact that I love them. Um, you know, Aaron's details, routine, his flat lay, and I love the flat lays. I totally put these in opposite, so I'm going to have to change that. <laughs> this is supposed to be pieces. This is going to be hourly. I'll do that after I turn you guys off. And then I've got the journaling, his big photo, and then the 3 by 4s And that's that. Cool. Wait, what? Chocolate in hot. Okay. Chocolate. Not chocolate. What? Yum. What? That sounds so good. All right, you guys, so that is it for this week. We've got Week in the Life up to Thursday completed. Uh, next week, we will work on Friday and Saturday. It is coming together super well. I'm super, I'm very excited to be this far in this album. So um, yes, next week, we're going to work on Friday and Saturday. We'll get those done. And then... Um, We'll just have one more day left to go. One more day. So I figure the last day we're going to do Sunday. And then I've got a little booklet to put at the beginning right here. So we'll get that in here and attached. And this is going to be one bulky fat album. Nah, I love it. It's great. Love it. So you guys, thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with me. I hope that uh, something in here inspired you. And, and even if it didn't, <laughs> that um, you at least had some fun chatting with everybody in the chat. I love love, love, love seeing you guys here and reading all your comments. Like I turn off my, I turn off the video and I go read all your comments because I miss so many of them. And, uh, I just, I crack up you guys. It's so good. All right, you guys. So I will see you next week. Um, or, you know, around the interweb in all the places. So I will see you guys then. Thank you all for coming. You guys have a great night. Catch you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye.